beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I've got a wonderful feeling. Everything's going God's way. Hello, my friends. How are you all doing today? Well, I hope, I hope you are having a beautiful day wherever you are, north, south, east, west. Praise be to God for another day. Say it with me. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Yay! I'm glad. I hope you are too. God is so beautiful, isn't he? He is so good to us. He is merciful. He is kind. He is faithful. He is powerful. He is our Father God. Glory be to him. Today I have a beautiful photo of a flower of a rose with some hearts around it. Yes, a photo from Facebook. I've put this up before. Today I put it up again. I think I put it around thanks, uh, not Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day. <laughs> That's what the hearts are for. Valentine's Day. Yeah, beautiful, 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 because God is beautiful. God created that beautiful flower too, and he created the beautiful people that created that, the beautiful mind to create something like this. A beautiful picture for us to see and enjoy. Praise God. Let's go ahead and get into God's Word, starting with Joel Olstein's The Power of I Am. Let's see what Pastor Joel has to teach us today. Stepping stones. You made them a little lower than the angels. You crowned them with glory and honor and put everything under their feet. That's from Hebrews 2, 7 and 8. If you see your life challenges as being too big, that's going to cause you to feel weak, discouraged, and intimidated. You have to shake off the lies that are telling you it's too big. It's never going to be resolved. It's going to be way too long. It'll never change. All those changes are under your feet. You're going to put a stop to it. It's just a matter of time before you break through to a new level. This is a new day, God is saying. Every enemy, every sickness, every obstacle, it's not going to defeat you. It's going to promote you. It was meant to be a stumbling block to keep you down. God is going to use it as a stepping stone to take you to the higher level. Keep the right perspective. It's under your feet. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father, for your word in Hebrews 2, 7 and 8. And thank you, Joe Olstein, for that devotional, for reminding us God's got this. It is under our feet. So have that attitude to know that this too shall pass. It just is going to. And you will walk, stomp on it, and move forward. Just follow God, follow his spirit, follow his, his leading in your life. Because he will get those things out of your life that shouldn't be there, should have never been there. But because of the devil's schemes that want to, res to, to destroy us, God is here to restore us to restore us, replenish us, purify us, keep us holy in him. And then we will have smooth sailing every single day because we are walking in God's will. Can't go wrong with that. Really can't. All right. And now for the reading of the Holy Bible, today I will be reading a verse from Philippians 4.19. And my God will meet all your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thank you, Father. It's beautiful. And now, yes, for David C. Hebner's Clear My Vision. A hostile world. I call to God. I cry to God to help me. From his palace, he hears my call. My cry brings him right into his presence. A private 
audience. That's from Psalms 18, 6. This one verse is worth an entire book of words. To be able to feel and experience a private audience with God in a hostile world is life changing. Once we experience what it feels like to cry out to him and sense his immediate presence, we are never the same. It's not that we become self-confident. We simply feel secure in his loving embrace. We want to rest in his arms. We want to stay in his holy presence. Then he really takes our relationship to the new level. He shows us how we can feel his touch, even when we have to concentrate at work or meeting the needs of others. He talks to us all the time. He never lets go. We can stick close to God while we go about our daily business. Praise the Lord. The prayer here today is, Lord, thank you for giving me a private audience in your undivided attention. You make me feel so special in a way that is not humanly possible. Hold me tight. Never let me go. I love how you remind me through everyday details how important I am to you. Amen. Wow. That's powerful. Powerful. So powerful. I almost started crying. Thank you, Father, for anointing this word. Thank you so much. Oh, let us pray. Heavenly Father, I just don't have enough words today, Lord, to praise you, to honor you. It is so true that in this lifetime, through the challenges and the obstacles that we go through and the chaos in this world, we can come before you and cry out to you for help. No matter where we are, you hear us. As long as we call you, Abba, help us. We need you. Give me the strength. Give me your strength. Give me your power. Give me your provision. Give me your way out. Lord, thank you for hearing us. Thank you for letting us be in your holy presence and being at peace on this earth with all the chaos that's out there. We can be in your word in your song, glorifying and enjoying your holy presence. Thank you that whatever we are going through, those challenges are under our feet. We will remember that this too shall pass. We will continue to draw nigh to you, letting you fill us with your holy presence and your unconditional love. We ask of all these things in your precious and holy name, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, God, for this life. Thank you for the strength that you give to us. I am so grateful and so humbly honored to be here with you, reading God's word together, growing together in Christ, and pushing through each and every day doing his will, overcoming every obstacle that comes our way. Remember, Jesus went through a lot. He could do it, we could do it. He did it with God. So let us live our lives with God, and then we can do it with smooth sailing. Until tomorrow, 再见!